Hello everyone. I am Shubham Gar and welcome back to the lecture series of blockchain and solidity. So in this video we are going to write another program using solidity language. We are going to write a smart contract to find total percentage that a student has scored in his or her exams assuming that marks scored in each subject are out of 100. All right? So uh, for to write this program we will open solidity. Okay, in solidity what we are going to do is we are going to create a new file and uh, let's say we will be uh, naming it as marks all right marks.sol so we are going to uh, create a, this new file that is marks.sol and now we are going to write our smart contract so basically uh, first we need to see what are the constraints that we need as mentioned in the question we need to find a total percentage that a student has scored that means we need uh, uh, to input the subject and marks from the user all right so for that we need to have marks and subject as an input and basically it won't be a single subject and single marks there will be multiple subject and multiple marks for that so that's why we will be using an array as well and we will be using a structure so first of all we will be writing our pragma statement that is pragma solidity and we will be specifying the version so we will be using 015.0 and above all right so let's say i name the contract as c and within our contract we are going to uh, define a structure so here i am going to define a structure that is struct marks and in the structure we will be having two parameters uh, two things that is subject and scope so we will be using a string for subject and we will be using an unsigned integer for score okay so now after the contract we will be using an array and we will be defining the array for this marks all right so that the marks can be stored uh, for subject for every subject all right so now we will be defining a function uh, that is add marks that is to add the marks of the of all the subjects all right so here uh, what we are going to do we are going to have two uh, parameters first of all we will be having subject that is a string and then we will be having score that is a unsigned integer and the function is public so now we will be what we will going to do is we are going to push the marks inside this array that is uh, because there are more than one subjects so all the marks are being pushed inside this array so we will be using the dot operator so we will use marks dot push and we are going to push marks inside this marks array and here the marks are stored in such a way that uh, basically uh, since this is the array for this structure so both these things that is uh, subject and score both of these things are scored so uh, what we will do is we in this array we will be passing subject and score all right so here subject and it will refer to the subject and again score that will refer to our score variable all right so uh, this is how we declare this function so we will just uh, end the function here now we will be defining another function that is to calculate the percentage so uh, we are going to define a function that is function percentage and here uh, this functions need to return uh, an integer all right so public will be using returns and for re uh, return type uh, will be an integer that is unsigned integer so we will be defining an unsigned integer that is for sum u int sum is equal to 0 and now we will be using a for loop to uh, find the total score all right so we will be using a for loop and again integer i is equal to 0 i needs to be less than the length of the marks array that is the marks dot length and uh, we need to increment as i plus plus all right so now we will what we need to do uh, is we need to sum uh, the marks of all the subjects so uh, we will update sum as sum is equal to sum plus marks of i dot score all right so this is how we will find the updated value of sum and now we need to return the integer that is for the percentage so for that we will be using return 
and we will be returning sum into 100 we will be actually finding the percentage so uh, we will finding the percentage that is uh, basically the sum by the total number of marks so we will be using marks dot length and whole thing into 100 so that's how we are going to calculate the percentage so uh, this is how we can calculate the percentage so uh, let us compile the program and see if it works or not okay there is an error or all right the, the compiler version we need to select 0.1.5.0 yeah Okay, uh, its length, L E N G T H. There was a spelling mistake, so I will just compile again, and we can see uh, it is compiling. So let us uh, deploy our program. All right. So here uh, we have selected our smart contract that is uh, C uh, smart contract C. So we will deploy, and we can see here. Initially, in the deployment, there is no input or output. Now, here at the bottom left, we will see deploy uh, in deployed contract. There is the option add marks and percentage and marks. All right. So here it will be uh, going to it is going to take two arguments that is subject and score. So for example, I will say let's say English, and the score is ninety. so we'll be adding the marks and we can see here that uh, the subject is english and score is 90 similarly we will add another subject that is let's say maths and we are going to give the score as 100 all right so now we will see maths as 100 okay we have maths and 100 and now we will be calculating the percentage so when i click on percentage we will see we have the percentage as 95 all right so because it shows both the variables so we can see using calculator that when we find the percentage uh, let's say 100 plus 90 and we will be dividing it by 200 so we get 0.95 that is uh, 95% so uh, that percentage is being calculated here using this program so uh, this is how we can calculate the percentage of the marks uh, which are being scored by a student so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video